Now, the final aspect of social media use in education is, of course, the potential pitfalls and dangers in the use of social media. So there are a whole range of these. But one of the things we've been looking at quite um, closely in this course has been the concept of the digital divide and digital citizenship. So what aspects of social media use can be incorporated into digital citizenship? Now, first off, we're going to look at some dilemmas, some issues to do with social media use that can be positive or negative, normally negative, the ones we're looking at. But ideally, we should also try to find the positives in the use of social media. But consider some of the ethical dilemmas around the use of social media in education. And we'll discuss these in the workshop and look at some strategies for implementing social media that address these um, potential pitfalls, but also can expand the use of social media into digital citizenship and digital citizenship education, into collaboration with parents and guardians and building a community of um, involved in education beyond just the educator and the students, and also around the use of social media for professional development between educators. So they're the sort of three main aspects of social media use that are common in education. There are certainly many others, but they're the main ones. And share an ethical dilemma that you've faced onto Teams. Then you're going to look a little bit more strategically at the use of social media to develop digital citizenship. How can we actually instill positive um, behavior in the digital space through the use of social media, modeling its effective uh, and appropriate uses, but also looking at real world scenarios and making what students are learning more contextualized to what they experience in their own use of social media, which is quite extensive and look at how we can use social media interactions as a platform for discussing some of these ethical issues and ideally then produce a more positive digital culture as a result. So there's a range of processes we can incorporate there, including introducing um, participation beyond the student um, teacher environment, such as having parents become involved, having other members of the community involved, particularly experts or um, advocates for various approaches and so forth, essentially guest speakers, but utilising social media as that forum. And then looking at the role of educators in the use of social media. Too often it was seen as a process of banning social media and of having avoiding education, having to interact with social media. But that's very much an abrogation of responsibility in terms of educating students into how to utilize social media appropriately. Because if we're not going to do that within education, there's not many other avenues for students to develop that learning, at least in a coordinated, efficient, effective way. So again, we'll discuss that in the workshop and bring along some strategies that you've used to develop digital citizenship through the use of social media.